Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are gonna see email field. Okay, so let's see. So here I am on my computer screen and I was already on my computer screen. Now I'll just go to models.py. Now here I will just create one another field which is gonna be emp underscore email equals to models dot email field and here I can say null equals to true and blank equals to true just to avoid errors and I'll just go python manage.py make migrations and I'll just say migrate okay once this is done I will just run the server okay now after running the server let's go to the views.py but before that I'll just copy this employee underscore email field but we will go to forms.py before going to views.py sorry for the wrong information now here I'll say emp email equals to forms dot email field sorry forms dot email input and in this we will just provide the attributes now here the parameters which email field accept is required widget label initial and help text now i am not gonna talk about required and help text we already know what are those fields and we also know widgets and labels but i will still discuss it okay so first let me talk about label label equals to employee email this field is basically used to give a label to the particular field then we have required but we are not going to discuss that we will say widget widget equals to forms dot email okay i have made some mistake here i will say email input in the widget and here i will say email field okay now it will work perfectly email input okay now after this we can pass attributes a double trs create the dictionary now here we can say class not this way class and I can pass form control that's it and here I can pass type but it will be passed automatically but still I'll pass and I'll say email okay once this is done we can write this initial equals to example um, I think we should skip this okay let's skip it instead of this initial I can say placeholder yeah I'll say placeholder and I'll pass the placeholder example at the rate example dot com save this and copy this field name come over here now here I will say email equals to form dot clean underscore data and I'll pass this emp underscore email now once this is done let's come over here I'll say emp underscore email equals to this save now re refresh okay I hope the server is running yeah go to employee now here you can see this email field now let me write they were she then you I will say email is gonna be they were she at the rate gmail dot com and the joining date would be today and the 
same time just submit now if i go to admin panel you will see three data enter devashi devashi's email and the date and time okay so i hope you got idea about this date time field too so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in next one thank you